And now to Madagascar, where a political crisis is brewing over calls for President Henry Rajao Nariman Pianina to resign. On Tuesday, the country's defense minister appealed to warring political parties to reach an agreement as anti-government protests in the capital, Antenana Rivo, entered its 12th day. Two people were killed and at least 16 people were wounded on the first day of the protest. That was two weeks ago. On the fair, uh, Jerry, well, we take a look at the situation and spot in Madagascar after two weeks of political crisis with James Ramaro Saona, a journalist in Antananarivo. Ramaro Saona, qui est donc journaliste dans la capitale Antananarivo. Monsieur James, bonjour. Alors, pour commencer, to begin with, let's go back to the details and the latest events in the country. You follow the, the demonstrations closely. How is the atmosphere in Madagascar? Décrivez-la un petit peu. It is necessary to recall, on April 21, the demonstration proposed by the deputies of the opposition ended with skirmishes, which caused several deaths. On April 23, the armed forces drew the intervention of the Minister of National Defense and its colleagues, the Gendarmerie and the National Police, put themselves above the free. We have asked politicians to resolve politi the political crisis and have stated that they would not oppose political demonstrations, de la law enforcement nationale, and security forces, including the Gendarmerie and the armed forces. The police have given the political um, leaders on both sides the opportunity to resolve the situation as soon as possible. The law enforcement and security forces, including the gendarmerie, have given the opposition leaders on both sides the opportunity to resolve the situation as soon as possible, as the situation is likely to be a, a serious crisis. To resolve the situation, because the situation risks to be a crisis grave. As we mentioned earlier in James, the army record called on political ac actors to find a solution on the crisis. What should we expect now? I don't know what is happening, but the armed forces declared during their first operation that they are hostile to any seizure of power against the constitution. That is, that is, that in current constitution if there is a vacancy of power for the post of president of the republic it will be the president of states the president of senate who will replace him knowing that the president of the senate is none other than the president of the presidential party we understood that the opposition demanded the departure of the Malagasy president for more than two weeks. Thousands of demonstrators have since camped in front of the constitutional court. Has she already spoken on this, on this matter? The Court of Constitutional of Madagascar the High Constitutional Court of Madagascar rendered the verdict. It is not a verdict, but to give to give its opinion on the particular regime of the election in Madagascar, on his opinion. They issued opinions not in conformity with the Constitution for nine articles. Therefore, it is up to the President of the Republic to take after the related provisions. I think that the decision and the opinion of our Constitutional Court on the text, on the draft that I have just mentioned, may alleviate the situation a little because that is what the members initially asked for. So I will see tomorrow or the day after what happens.